All right, today I'm doing a review on a wide angle lens. This is kind of a budget wide angle lens. Maybe you bought a full frame camera and you're looking for a, a lens that will work in full frame mode on your uh, Pentax, Canon, whatever. Um, this is a third party lens, so they make these for uh, Pentax, Canon, and whatnot. This in particular model is, a, is the Vivitar 19 to 35 f 3.5 to 4.5 now if you're looking for these they'll all be around a hundred dollars they might be under different name brands and such um, and you'll get similar results I've tried several different ones and they're all pretty much the same the um, they're sharp but they're not tack sharp um, the images are usable but you're not going to be wowed by anything the colors and contrast are just eh, just okay so um, at $100, you can't complain too much. If you're, wanting, if you're looking for a lens to kind of get you by after you spend a bunch of money on a full-frame camera um, until you can afford a, a better lens, I would recommend this. Um, or it, maybe you're a portrait photographer, um, but you want a wide-angle lens in your bag just uh, for some landscapes or such, you could uh, buy this. Only $100, you're not out too much money. Um, like I said, they're under different name brands so you might see um, ones that's uh, I've used a quad array before and a Tamron before uh, and they're all very very similar um, there you go it doesn't stick out too much when you zoom um, plastic body metal back uh, this one particular one has a 77 millimeter filter thread um, it didn't come with a hood um, the hoods are kind of hard to find, so if you find one with a hood, that would be great. If not, you could buy one of the screw-in ones. Um, but uh, here you go. Let's test out the uh, autofocus on this thing. It's a bit loud, and it kind of slams from one side to the other, as you'll see here. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, that wasn't too bad. And three, two, one. Well, let me uh, do that again. Let's see. Three, two, one. It's kind of dark in here, so. All right, so there you go. There was the autofocus. And the uh, if you're looking at wide-angle lenses, it's all always good to and see what the closest focusing distance is, because with wide-angle lenses, especially one at 19 millimeters, that's pretty wide. Um, you're going to want to put something in the, you know, in the foreground to make make your shot. So uh, it's always nice to see what your closest focusing distance is. This is this with these, it's not that as close as you would with a, a lot of other lenses. Here it says uh, about two feet. It's, so it's two feet from the sensor, not from the tip of the lens. So uh, you'll have a little mark on your camera somewhere that would let you know where the sensor is. So you could kind of go off from there and say two feet so all right um uh, i guess enough said let's just look at some uh test images here um they'll be shot on the pentax k1 straight out of camera no editing neutral picture style so you could see exactly what you're getting straight out of camera but uh yeah go ahead and subscribe check out my other videos thanks for watching rock on